you want to be one of the cool guys, buy my merch. Hey guys, I know I've been posting a lot about the triathlon stuff, so building back to aspiring and training and everything. It's next week, so I've been doing everything. Everything sort of seems to be coming together. Fitness is good, hands getting better as well, so I can start doing a bit more of that. Raise a load of money. Thank you for all your donations and bids on the auction and that. Just going to do a video talking about like what I'm eating and the lead up to it. Oh, a lot of the top guys, they seem like very skinny boys. I seem to have gained some weight. Been eating a lot of calories pasta a lot of uh, extra stuff and obviously having no like weight limit to make it's kind of hard not to have whatever i want i have been trying to keep it as clean as i can but without having the weight restrictions i uh, you know I've, I've been eating a lot and i have gained actually i don't know if i gained weight so i was on holiday in italy for two weeks so i don't usually weigh myself out of camp so yeah but everyone keeps saying i look bigger and I, I don't know if that's the swimming or what it definitely my ass has got bigger from cycling but yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna sort of run down what I eat, yeah, and what I've been doing to like refuel, recovery shit, more carbs, more calories. It's kind of the gist of it. And drinking more water to try and stay hydrated, electrolytes. Just a lot of training. The workload is a lot. So I haven't lessened anything else. The only thing I'm not doing is sparring. I've said this before, but it's not a broken record. But yeah, there's gonna be more items going on the Almighty Merch website actually for the for the auction. Because I had some other stuff lying around, we'll have to arrange that one. Hopefully by the time this video is out, they're on there, but you shall see. Usually in the morning I have a big bowl of porridge. I say a big bowl of porridge, when I'm in camp, I have a bowl of porridge with almond bar, a bit of peach, and like a bit of cinnamon. But out, you know, I've been having now, I've been having more eggs, weirdly. And I've been having more uh, like toast, a bit of it. I've been on the go today, so I haven't been able to have my normal stuff. I had a breakfast out and I had, because I don't eat pork, I didn't have veggie breakfast. Which is alright. That's made me miss pork a little bit when you see the sausage coming out. I like, I'm not vegan, I just don't eat pork. So I like turkey sausage, chicken sausage, beef sausage, I'm all in. But just not pork. Anyway, obviously, m and scumbags and they don't have meal deals. So this cost me about 50 quid. But I was just in there doing some shopping before I go training. This is a 100% classic latte, cold brew. Let me tell you how much that cost me because that is not in a deal. This cost £1.90. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Double shot espresso, semi-skin milk, just the way I like it. Chicken hummus wholemeal wrap. Again, it's not healthy, it's a wrap. But it's wholemeal, it's chicken hummus. Peppered chicken breast, carrot, and spinach. I think that sounds pretty good. And a Belgian chocolate flat cake. So today's Friday. What well, I did this morning, because I'm only one week out from this triathlon, I did a four mile run, 4.2 mile run if you want to be exact. Yeah, didn't push the pace too hard, nothing crazy. I've got Muay Thai now coming up soon. And I think I'm gonna go for a swim after it. It'll be probably one of my last swims. Yeah, so I'm kind of keeping the calories high, carbs high. Because I think the swim now and the uh, run this morning were easy. The Muay Thai is never easy. Anyone who's ever trained Muay Thai knows it's fucking horrible. All tire coaches seem to be sadists and they wanna they wanna watch you cry and they wanna break you down. But yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, it's good. Also I've been drinking a lot of apple juice, just for energy. I did it before my, my last camp, I was having a lot of apple juice and uh, I like to mix my creatine in it, it's more soluble that way and it gives you a nice little, little bit of energy. So yeah, actually I'm gonna do that now. I've got some apple juice, it's probably full of shit. I didn't get like a better, better one. I didn't even look at the ingredients. It's from concentrate, so yeah, it's probably from shit. Usually I get the better one, but it was in a bit of a rush, so I just grabbed any one. I don't care today, because I need some energy. I'm gonna put my creatine in there. Like I said, it's more soluble, okay? Apple juice has many benefits. Energy, soothes the stomach. My ride is about 25 miles. So tomorrow will be one of my last ones. It won't be anything crazy, maybe like do 10, 12 again. But then the problem is I go to do my real training. Like I'm gonna do a bit of resting, a bit of grappling. Obviously I'm not sparring at the minute. I would not be going for a long bike ride or any bike ride before sparring because that's a recipe for disaster. And um, I know I like to act stupid, but I am not an idiot. So, yeah. So I'm eat this wrap and hopefully don't throw it up in Muay Thai because it is an hour and a half till my session. That's the hardest thing is the time before the tie session. I've got a really loud a push up. Okay, right now. Oh, someone's ready for her lunch. Which I think with sports where you don't have to make weight, it's 
beautiful. You can fuel your train. You're a bit tired. You're eating more. I've been snacking a lot more because I, if I had a big run or a big ride, then I've got to go back to training. Obviously, need more calories. And uh, this might be the most boring video to some people, but people always ask me for this shit. So, the last sort of morning ride before before the try before the try. Um, come with me. I have. I have some water, of course, before. Black coffee. We've trafficked the man. Not dishwasher safe. We've got some high five energy gum gummies. Energy aqua, which I hate because it always spills over me and I go sticky everywhere. But it's not very good. They are not a sponsor, but I think this stuff's pretty good. Also today, I'm having M&S buttermilk pancakes for breakfast. Which uh, usually, Usually we make these things at home, but my uh, my chef isn't really a morning person. So I'm just gonna have two with some maple syrup before I go. So, oh, they smell good though. They smell like McDonald's ones. Are only having two? Why not have three? That's a good point. That's a good point. Mm. And I got some better road tires for my gravel bike. I was trying to install them last night. And I put them on backwards, so I'm just gonna suck it up and go with it. It's kind of annoying. Tom Armstrong gave me some uh, these fucking weird inner tubes that were impossible, and it made me just want to smash my bike up because it was so annoying. So I just went back to the old ones. A lot of people asking, like, making sure I'm not wearing lycra and stuff. Obviously, that's not really my style. So yeah, I don't really don't expect to see that. So back from my ride with Tom Armstrong, I'm, what do we do? Let me think it. 17 miles. I put some new tires on last night. I put them on backwards because it was dark. They still feel good, so whatever. Now I've got avocado, berries, and eggs. I've got an hour till I have to be at the gym for the wrestling. So I've got a carb shake, got lots of water, a black coffee, berries. Oh, yesterday I had a big bowl of pasta and chicken and a tiramisu. But I had a friend over so we didn't do any filming, so... I will say, on the chafe front, on the chafe front, I'm no longer chafing. I either I've lost weight, or this shit is working. Chamois butter, 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 butter. Like, get it all slapped up in the groin, the anus area. This is not sponsored. This is not a sponsored ad. Endorsed. I endorse it. I endorse chamois butter. Groin will chafe no longer. My legs definitely feel bigger, and I'm still doing the squats, still doing my Muay Thai training, obviously. But they chafe when I walk now, I need like compression shorts just to walk around the house. But my dad was like, dude, strong man. He would chafe like a motherfucker. And I remember he had these, I think it was Under Armour, compression shorts. And you used to just walk around the house, and you would just hear, <laughs> It was literally every step, we like, <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> if only he knew about this, he wouldn't have to walk around and go. <laughs> My darling only eats the Dutchy organic. Okay. Hmm. Are you gonna say anything? Or? I mean, Wednesday now. Carbon up for the. Uh, Triathlon, triathlon, the carb loading. My guy, my man, he said keep it clean. So, we've got a sun fried chicken pole. A Snickers duo, of course. <clears throat> the blue Powerade, the only Powerade that matters. But that was £3.60 with the Tesco meal deal. So that's a total savings of £1.85. However, I feel like they've jacked the prices up <clears throat> to make them more, to make it seem like they're giving bigger discounts and stuff. Obviously the total was more, £3.60. Not fucking great, not great at all. That's well made, the chicken's underneath it. <laughs> Thanks guys, thanks Tesco for the fried chicken sub with the chicken underneath it. I rarely get a sub, but it was around lunchtime, it was crowded, and I need carbs, so. Since doing the triathlon training, I've been eating a lot of carbs, higher calories, obviously, just like I said, still been doing everything else. I mean, it's hard to do all this eating, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. The stickers is essential to improve performance. The wrap is pretty good, the, the sub. I don't usually get a sub, but it's good. And Powerade, I don't know what they've done with these stupid lids, but like, you know what I mean? It was a sports drink, now it's just a blue drink. I want, I want that little squeezy bit. I can't really run with it and it's stuck in my nose like that. Not that I run with a Powerade anyway, but you know what I mean? A sports cap. Everyone's stupid. 
I wrote it down. What's going on everyone? Today I've done a 10 mile ride, a decent clip, and then I did a transition into T2 swimming. No, shit, T2 is the ride. T3, I went into T3, <laughs> transition three, I went onto the, to the run. I just did two miles straight after, just to get my legs used to that feeling. I just couldn't get my breathing right today, that kind of sucked. But I think I'm quite fatigued from pushing. Then we had a runch, we had a, had a meal deal, you're obviously gonna see that. Then I went and lifted some weights, did some squats with Carlos, didn't film any of that, didn't film none of it, because we're busy playing with the dog. The camera lady's doing some dog shit, that's fun. Carlos does shit everywhere. Also, what do you guys think of this? This hoodie, this is a proposed one of the new hoodies, okay? It's a bit of an oversized hoodie. Let me give you 360 degrees. Let me give you a side profile. Let me give you a back profile. This side profile, that side profile, and then straight. It's like, you know, one of those kind of funky oversized fits. This is a medium. But yeah, so maybe this one, it is comfy and it feels better quality than the other ones. It doesn't have any strings. I'm not the biggest fan of strings hanging out. I was. You'll see all my hoodies and jumpers and stuff. I've kind of ripped most of the strings out. And now, now I'm cooking. I'm doing a bit of jiu-jitsu this evening. I am cooking, I am not cooking. Someone is cooking a burger bowl. I'm going with white potatoes. I think it's 5% fat, lean minced beef. Nice cheese. Yeah. All the things you have in a burger without the bread, because I've been eating a lot of bread, carbs and that. Yeehaw. <laughs> We got the burger bowl special. There's a camp special, but usually we go with sweet potatoes, less sauce. I'm carbon up, boy. I hope we get some more energy. Next few days is gonna be carb loading. I hope to do it right, I don't get too fat. Just full of energy. We'll see how we go over the next few days and uh, keep you up to date. Make sure it's good. No, it doesn't like, doesn't approve, no good. Getting bullied out my seat. Here I have cooked some pasta with vodka sauce. I cooked it all myself. Also whilst I was at the gym training jiu-jitsu. Fish is very concerned with nutrition. She wants to make sure we're eating the right stuff. Make sure we're not fueling up on anything poisonous. She likes to test it sometimes. She has her food on the floor, but it kind of looks like crap. So I don't blame her for wanting to eat this. Now she's sniffing the chair. Yeah, so I don't know. I've done a couple of like sprints, triathlon sprints, but um, this is a bit longer. And I'm actually training more like MMA training, like actual training, than I was when I did the other ones. I didn't really feel like I needed too much prep for like a sprint, to be honest. In the Olympic distance, I'm a little bit, a bit further than I thought, and I'm feeling a bit tired, more tired. But I'm still doing the rehab on this old boy, so that's that's cool. Hopefully start hitting things shortly. Just a recurring nightmare. Here's what it is. It's nice to do this, it's kept me, it's kept my mind focused, kind of had like a mini camp, and I'm not unfit. I don't know if like, fight fit and like, fit fit is a different thing. Go away. <laughs> You can't eat my pasta. I was talking. So I'm in kind of good shape. I've been eating a lot of calories and carbs, obviously, because I'm burning a lot. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, it's obviously for a good cause as well, so that's, that's cool. Maybe we'll definitely do more, obviously, last year. After I fought Calvin Kate, we did the uh, November stuff. Did a load of half marathons, and we did the November run. Did we do an option for that? Yeah, why not? I, I like to do, if we can do. Always, like, there's no... But yeah, obviously, like, between fights, it's something you can do to keep motivated, keep, um keep yourself in shape because uh, obviously a common thing people like to have blowouts and get fat and then rebuild start from scratch and then lose the weight again to get you know what i mean you do something like this you one you're looking after yourself and two you're um doing something good so yeah I'll definitely be doing more of this sort of thing in the future that being said go over to mymerch.co place your bids on stuff, we've got posters signed by me, we've got posters signed by the whole fight card. Sean Strickland, Drickus Duplessis, who else we got there? Leon Edwards, Bilal Mohammed, Tom Asper and all. Curtis Blades, myself on the poster. Paddy Pimblett is on the poster. I hasn't got my face on it, so I don't really care to put it up in my house. But it's cool to have, but I mean, I'd rather raise some money and give it to charity, so. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share it. Give us some more feedback on things, you know, what you want to see, because, yeah. We do a lot of things, but I don't post a lot. So if there's something you'd be interested in seeing more of or less of, if you just want to see the cat, maybe we'll just start a live channel on the cat. We'll just film the cat all day, see what she does throughout the day. And maybe take myself completely out of it, if that's what the people want. All right, yeah, cheers. Go and donate and put your bids in. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm.